Days after a shooting at Heritage High School in Newport News, students, parents and staff are nervous about the violence. This as schools in Hampton Roads deal with social media threats. Sarah Hammond spoke to mental health specialist who shared advice on how to ease your anxiety and what to look for in your own children. As many units as I can to the front of the school right now. It's been four days since a 15 year old Heritage High School student allegedly shot two of his classmates. Since then, police have been investigating other threats at schools all over Hampton Roads, which means added anxiety in an already stressful school year. And people don't know what's next. And so, you know, that Fear is real. Hampton therapist Charday O'Rourke says it's okay to talk about it together. You're not re-traumatizing your child by checking in on their feelings. Kurt Hook, CEO of the Virginia Beach Psychiatric Center, says it's a tough but necessary conversation. But be honest in terms of bad things happen. And but reassure as well that there are people in the community that are looking out for their safety. In terms of moving forward, Hook says sticking to a routine and filtering out unnecessary information can help ease everyone's anxiety. For Heritage High students, he encourages them to rehearse what it will be like back on campus. That could be very helpful in terms of OK, let's talk through this, what this is going to be like. On the other side, both say there's no surefire way to predict if your own child could become the one making a threat or pulling a gun. But there are things you can watch out for. Social withdrawal, maybe aggressive conversations. O'Rourke says the main thing to remember is that it's OK to ask for help. Whether you are at school that day or not, whether you were, at, you know, in, in the classroom, you just got hit by a car trauma. You know, you just got hit by a car. You don't have to get up and say, I'm OK. For 13 News Now, I'm Sarah Hammond. O'Rourke also says parents, whether parents are watching out for warning signs or making sure their child is OK, it is vital to be connected both emotionally and in physical space.